Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain an icon we hadn't seen before called Bedtime Mode. We have what we like to call the complete list of icons for Android devices on our website, uartech.ca, as you can see in the top left here. There's a lot of icons here, so if you're trying to figure out what an icon is, well, probably here. And the list goes on and on and on and on and on, and we add new ones all the time. Uh, we just added this one a couple of days ago. Anyway, point here is we had somebody send us this one. And sure looks like a bed with a moon. And we didn't know what that was. We researched it and couldn't figure it out. And then a reader got back to us and said, it's bedtime mode. And we heard of bedtime mode. We can imagine what it is, but haven't seen it. So what we did is we fired up one of our phones and we're going to set up the new mode together because it's no longer called bedtime mode. It is called sleep mode. So how do you get to it? Well, what you do is swipe down from the top, click the cog, and in the new Android, in this case, Android 13, with Samsung's One UI, you can see it's actually in a new section called Modes and Routines. Now, we knew this was here, and we've used a number of these before, but I hadn't seen this one, Sleep. So, let's go through this together and set it up. Create the right environment for you to sleep and wake up on time. Sleep mode can be turned on automatically based on your sleep schedule. And from a very brief amount of reading we've done on this, it turns out that it has to do with reducing the light coming from your phone and turning off group chats and things like that. So let's take a look. Start. Now, this is probably a regular schedule for a lot of people. I don't sleep very well. So <laughs> my sleep schedule is uh, between 1 and 2 a.m. I go to bed and I don't get up until about 8.30 and I sleep just horribly in between. Let's scroll down a bit here. So here we have the settings. So that's well, that's pretty much all days for me. Wake up alarm, sure. Alarm sound Bixby alarm. That's kind of cool. You can set it to Spotify. So you can see I like science and things, but I most definitely don't want that. Let's go to some 80s rock music. Oh, okay, that's what I need to wake up to right there. REM. Okay, that's enough. Uh, yeah, so that, I'm gonna leave it as that just for the sake of this discussion. Let's go back. Uh, vibration for basic call, sure. Snooze, vice, sure, that's interesting. So let's click next. Turn on do not disturb to avoid distractions. Yep. Calls, no, I need calls to come through. If I get a call, I need it. So I'm going to set it to all. Now this is an interesting feature. Allow calls when somebody's called more than once within 15 minutes. That's a very useful setting. So even if you have it set to none, you could go, yeah, if they phone back, yeah, we're gonna take that call. So. That's probably what most people are going to want to set it to. Uh, that's an indication that it's important. Messages, none. I can always wait for a message. And let's go back here. And app notifications, none. You bet. I don't want anything beeping at me. Choose when to apply sleep mode starts. Sure. Great. Uh, I like dark mode. So you won't be interrupted. This action will wait until the screen is off unless the condition for this is, okay, is launched. In that case, the action can cause the apps to restart and close working correctly. Eh, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave it at grayscale. We'll just leave it at that. Let's click on the cog and see what that does. On or off, okay, well, let's leave it on on. And click done. And here it is, boys and girls. Here's the summary. And Samsung Health uh, will track you as well. And in my case, this really isn't of use because I have a Google Home device that I do all of this stuff with. It just sits in my bedroom, just a little clock. I'll put a link to that in the top right hand corner, by the way, it's much easier than using my cell phone. I don't like keeping my cell phone in my bedroom, so I don't typically, but the clock is really handy. The screen dims automatically when the lights go out. I also use it to turn lights on and off and all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna click turn on here. And you can see in the top left hand corner here, we have the do not disturb icon. And in the right, we have the bed. So bedtime mode, sleep mode is on. That's pretty cool. And now you can see the sleep icon in the top right hand corner because I've faked the timeout and I've uh, told it that it's uh, 3.30 in the morning. It's changed the screen to gray. And because it's on the right side, you can tell it's a system icon and not what you can do with it. The icons on the left, as we explain, let's scroll to the top of this page. The icons on the left, you can click on, these are app related, you know, things you've added in but the ones on the right are system icons. So that tells you something about that they're system related. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe's also appreciated. They both really help with the Google algorithms. 
And uh, if uh, you don't want to do that, but do want to get a hold of us, well, you can always do so at urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. And you can see we cover all kinds of technical things, including a lot of Android things. Alternately, you could just leave a question uh, down below in the comments section. If we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Hey, thanks for your time and have a great day. Bye-bye.